Hey there guys, what is going on? My name is Sai and welcome to Bus Simulator Episode 4 on the PlayStation 4. Now, if you have watched the previous episode, we took a massive round trip mode drive through one of our new routes, which is quite a rural route with a new bus, which uh, which was the Cetra. Now what we're going to have to do is, uh, I already took the liberty of creating the second new route here. Uh, what we're going to do now is take it for a drive and unlock our new area which is the eastern area we get 60k bonus cash and we also unlock some ads as well and ads actually add a little bit of revenue if you run them on your buses so that's nice to have so the route I've already made is route 6 and if we have a look at it it starts from rail, um, rail builders bridge uh, workers alley then we go to Fisher's Ground, then we go all the way up to Siegwald and Lidl, and then we end with West Spoke and then East Spoke. So a pretty nice uh, looking route, I have to say. It's quite easy to do a round trip mode with all the possibilities of it just, you know, going round and, and back and forth. So let's go ahead and start this drive. We'll go into the random weather slot. We're going to turn round trip mode off and we're going to pick again the Cetra business bus as this is not as much of a rural uh, route as the previous route we've done uh, but still pretty nice uh, bus for the route as it is so let's go ahead and start the drive so it looks like we are at night time uh, the buses are already running tape we'll turn off the cockpit light off and we'll add retarder to two and we are ready to go so let's go ahead and pick our first uh, fellow passengers up which is just round here I love how they put their hands up in here like they're waving hello <laughs> good evening uh, you'd like a weekly ticket, regular. Now we want for you, sir. And that is to euro change. Certainly, sir. Good evening. That's a single, regular, one. That's to 80. You're very much welcome. Please take a seat and enjoy your ride today. Uh, let's have a look at the now. There we go. So, you can see at my time, it's not that busy at all. Uh, not a lot of traffic, not a lot of AI pedestrians. It's quite pleasant. And it looks really nice at my time as well. But I wish the headlights did a little bit more. You can put them on the bar, um, far mode. And, um, that would just be obnoxiously too bright and just really doesn't look all that well in my opinion. second buster of the night one good evening three. good evening so uh, weekly regular one of those and that is to euro change you're very much welcome Next stop, let's approach this slowly Oh, the light, light changed. That's good for us. Come on, come on, come on, car. There we go. Just be very watchful about pedestrians crossing, especially in the dark. Cause pedestrians on this game crossing, it's uh, pretty much a nightmare. empty bus stop 
It's nice to see at night time the bus stops. Some have a few pedestrians, some have none at all. It's nice to see that, it really gets you immersed at night time driving. And the lack of uh, AI traffic as well at night time. One thing I wish they would add or work on for this game is add more junctions or traffic like traffic um, sorry traffic lights to junctions because um, sometimes a lot of the time there's a few um, well majority of the traffic or junction boxes uh, don't have lights at all and the AI just don't really work well with that. They'll just sort of like give each other away and not take the initiative and go or not use enough space um, to initiate other traffic, AI traffic to um, give you away and so forth. It's something that really should be worked on. But it's not a problem. Even with that, um, you know, you're not going to get perfect AI traffic. You can just never get it. As much as you try, there's always going to be problems with AI traffic. Well, hopefully in the future someone figures out a coding for it. Quite a few late shoppers. I think Lido is like little. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's like summer over there. Good Can evening. Daily sh student. That's one. That's four. Sixteen. You. You're welcome. Certainly. That's a weekly regular one. No problem. Please take a seat. There we go. I'd like to see um, the lights have more uh, headlights and just lights in general on the road and everything like that to have more power to them. Um, it, they look very much dull. Oh. oh, he's coming down here too. Is he letting me go? No, keep going. Okay, there's my gap. You guys can see the lamps there, they just don't really have that effect that they do anything. They're just like glow worms or something. <laughs> like a candle light, not very effective. And even the headlights, you can see they're not great. That's something that could work, be worked on, in my opinion. Just to bring the nighttime driving a little bit more alive to life, and even in the daytime or rainy situations where lights are required, I still don't have that power. This is a nice area to drive to at dark, especially with the yeah, the lights around there. Looks really pretty. Hello, bus in the bus stop. Now you can pull up behind. You don't have to wait for them. And uh, open your doors behind them. And you still get the perfect score as well. As you guys can see at the bottom right. Which is really nice. Yeah, off he goes. Watch how he pulls that though. It's literally like it's on rails. <laughs> So it's a day 
regular. God, I didn't, she didn't even say anything. I'm mute again. No props? Oh, she does speak. Just wasn't sure what ticket she wanted. Enough last stop. I'm gonna wait for this guy to move. Um, as this is our last stop, and he's already closing doors, so that's fine. It's nice that you can hear him or other hear other buses close doors. You can kind of anticipate what to do. So I'm gonna move right to the front, and there we are. Thank you very much. What a polite bunch. So that is this trip done. Let's go and a bolt drive. Excellent work. I knew you Beautiful. could pull it off. I'm happy to hand you the keys to the agricultural and industrial areas. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, of course. We haven't done real keys in a very long time, no matter. We're really looking forward to your plans to incorporate these two traffic-dense areas into your network. If you manage to pull this off, the city is willing to reopen up the southern areas and Steineck for public transport. Some friends of mine are planning to marry at the chapel there. Maybe we'll get this up and running in time for the wedding guests to use public transport. Oh, and before I forget, they also promised a juicy government subsidy as an incentive. Okay, so we've got new objectives, new routes to plan. Uh, we've also got a CNC, a CNG bus route as well uh, to one of these routes. We'll probably assign it to this route here. It looks like a quite a busy route. Um, so let's go ahead and pin this one up. Uh, so for this one, we're going to need three stops minimum in each. Uh, district we've got the agriculture zone which is just over here and we've got the industrial zone as well uh, so let's have a look and see if we can optimize a good route here uh, so let's have a look mm. okay so if we start from here the water treatment plant work our way to Boost Corp Warehouse Shipwrights Alley and um, go into Sugar Mill Hayscale and we'll end in the research lab here so that's uh, that's pretty much what we need uh, for this kind of route uh, let's change the number on it uh, to a random one, uh, that's 64. Okay, save. That's this route done. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do for this route as well um, is I'll probably think about buying a new bus at some point, but I don't think I have enough for that just yet. Uh, so we're going to stick with the Cetra for this one and let's take it for a spin. Or should we actually we'll use the man for this one. And let's do dawn. And okay. And that should be a nice drive. Okay, so everything's fine. What we need to do is just get rid of the cockpit light and we're pretty much ready to go, so Let's see how much money we can make on this route. I'll probably buy another man bus or maybe an urban Iveco. If we have unlocked it. Yeah, I'm not too sure if we have. Certainly, ma'am, so you would like a day, senior ticket, print, that's 460 change there for you, no problem. You can see, definitely quite a more 
quite a bit more um, vehicles on the road now. Let's just indicate and pull out now. We've got given way. And it's nice to see that variety of vehicle of volume of vehicles on the road as different times are in the game. Just a few people getting off, but that's it. Quite a bit of traffic here. This is what I mean with uh, most of these um, junction boxes. It's just a giveaway sign constantly. There's no traffic lights, even at some of the big ones as well, um, which is kind of annoying. But the traffic does flow eventually. I don't think I've ever seen it gridlocked before. It can build up, uh, but never gridlocked. We're going to be late for this uh, for this next stop. We've only got five seconds left. Got a lot of pedestrians crossing as well. Now other possessions are crossing because they are a lethal bunch. And here, there should really be traffic lights here, because of how massive this crossing is. I'm not sure if I put the retard on, I don't think I have to uh, adjust it. Uh, no, I didn't. Let's put it up to two. pump those numbers up. Weak, regular, one, and that is two. Euro change. Thank you. Certainly, student, single, and that's 820. There we are, no problem. Sorry, would you open the door again, please? Oh, I hate when passengers do that. I'm gonna let her off here. There we go. Luckily, um, we have a bit of a traffic jam up ahead, so not really lost any time here but we are going to be quite behind schedule for this run but that's to, ex to be expected especially when you're an industrial zone there's always a lot of traffic in any industrial zone pretty much at any given time it's just too much going on around Let's just go. Oh, 
Sealy Punto. I think that was a Punto. <laughs> say the overall map on this game is pretty well thought out in my opinion. It's got a lot of districts, um, different rural places, little country lanes, highways, um, just really nice and it really flows really well as well. the right of way so I'm waiting here. Let me through, come on. Let's edge out, come on. There we go. Handicap passengers, so let's get the bus ramp. And open the doors. I think I'll need Good to morning. Uh, several tickets, single, regular, and free tickets for you, sir. Thank you very much. Certainly, madam. Uh, weekly, regular, single. Thank you. Weekly, regular. Uh, that's two euro change. There we go. Let's track the, uh, the ramp. And we're ready to go. Oh, pedestrian! I love how it just looks like meh. Meh. A bus approaching. Breaking hard. I'm just gonna carry on walking as I am. <laughs> I think, um, if I remember correctly, in the next game that's coming out for Barcelona 21, um, the AI does um, react to your actions or to your bus when they're crossing. They'll, you know, they'll either run or kind of like jump out of the way. So it's quite nice to have that. Uh, let's put the Ramp back out. There we are. See you. Bye. The door's open. Why is that door closed? That is strange. Uh, it's a single senior. Okay, gentlemen's out. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. I mean. The ramp was retracted. I mean, yeah, just out and the doors wouldn't open. Okay, just a little glitch. Nothing to worry about. Certainly, madam. Day regular. Three eighty. There we go. Oh, maybe. God, he just came out of nowhere, bloody ninja. Oh yeah, the ramp as well. Jesus. Well, let's get going. See, Dawn really represents um, pretty much morning rush hour. There's a lot of pedestrians about people crossing, 
constantly. So you have to be quite watchful of those. Um, a lot of traffic, as you guys can see it as well. Which is really nice to have that diversity. Kind of really just immerses, um, yeah, immerses you in the um, in the game and just the overall role of it being a bus driver. Oops. Oh, it didn't really stick out that much, to be honest. Okay. I don't think we did. Clearly, I was wrong. <laughs> to be fair, collision um, fines, they're not <laughs> that bad compared to a pedestrian being run over fine. <laughs> that is just monstrous. I might have to show you guys. Or. It w it Sooner or later, it will happen. Even if you are the most careful driver in the world, it will happen eventually. I really wish you could turn it off, to be honest, or just make the uh, pedestrians sort of like ghost on you um, so they don't walk into your bus. Because even if you are, um, you know, stuck in traffic um, and your bus is literally maybe halfway across the uh, the crossing line for pedestrians they'll still walk out and uh, walk into your bus even though you're stationary you didn't cause that incident you didn't run them over deliberately you'll get that fine and uh, <laughs> when you do that just a board trip really just a fine is so massive there's really not no point continuing the trip at all I kind of love how everyone gets out from a bus, it's kind of like follow the leader kind of thing. <laughs> everyone just kind of waits for each other. But yeah, let's end this trip. Okie dokie, so that is that one done i'm going to episode here guys we're going to carry on with these objectives in the next episode so please show your support by liking the video down below if you have enjoyed this episode and the series so far comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care everyone and peace out